Hey guys, Ben Smithson here at Smithson Players. Welcome your faces back to Starfield. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification to keep doing everything here on Simpson Players. Check the links in the description for TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, I'll have vlogs, SimpsonPlays.com, and of course, my Twitch, Simpson underscore players 13, when you catch me live. Drop a follow over there, see when I'm streaming and what I'm streaming. And of course, don't forget, you can subscribe, support me financially as a streamer if you wish to. Before I go any further, don't forget, massive Apple unboxing on Simpson Vlogs. Do go check that out. But now, let's get on with the Starfield. Right then, we've got side mission to do from Sarah. And we go back into third person. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Um, I think we're ready to get to work. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Okay. Felt the same way when I started too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover. So I'm trying to hold the camera height here because that stupid just prompt that won't go away. Take out rid of it. Opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Okay. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Okay. Those are the rules. Advance humanity's knowledge to the best of your ability. As long as you do that, I'm not here to judge you. Now, let's you and I get over to Mast. Fair enough. I'll resume my normal duties. Oh, sandwich. Is there anything else I need to do in here? Greetings, Captain. I wish it was a bit more seamless, like it just opened the door and went out into the thing, but I understand why it's not like that. Completely understand it from a game, from a gameplay and game production point of view. So, yeah. Where is she then? Okay, there she is. Where are we going to where? Where's the map to tell me where I'm going? Okay. Is that our oxygen there going down? We're, a, we're an athlete, look at this. I don't think we're supposed to go down there. That's probably a very bad idea. Oh, Master's. Damn it. Right, I've gone wrong way. Right. <laughs> Strange not having a, like a. A mini maps like this always bug me out because, like, where. How, how am I meant to be looking at this to read it properly? I think we should be okay. Oh, you can do that. I don't need to. Oh, swimming. To the best of your abilities, and to uphold the values of the vanguard. Honor, loyalty. Sarah, good to see you. Ah, another space explorer. Hey, indeed I am joining up with the Vanguard, help the United Colonies earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship. Uh, 
Yeah. That's excellent. Just need to do a little paperwork. An orientation on the UC, a knockout an exam, and a probationary mission. We need to know you'll be able to hack it out there after all. Do well. You'll be out there keeping the peace in no time. Don't forget, John. I need him back after you wrap him in that fancy get-up of yours. No worry, Sarah. I'm not forgetting about you or our little business afterwards. Promise. First things first, head down to the orientation hall. Get signed up at the registration terminal. The system will walk you through the rest. Oh, and if you got a bounty, well, you're gonna have to make things right with the UC before we'll let you join. But if you've got any questions, I can get you sorted. Have some questions? No. Uh, I'm good. Wait, so how do I track that mission then? How do I... Is it this? And then missions... Step one, join by... Okay, consolation, and that's all these activities. Talk to Sergeant Yumi. One small step is the main mission right now. So if I track that. Oh god. Right, okay. Alright, let's go on that. Take a quick drink. to evacuate literally the entire planet. Can you imagine? The logistics of war must have been mind-boggling. From their foundation, the United Colonies strove to provide all the We would never accomplish this. <laughs> security and peace. If only we could actually band together like this. That still wanted something more. Independence. So in 2161, the UC issued the Centaurus Proclamation, granting UC citizens the right to settle distant worlds and form their own sovereign powers. It wasn't long before the first new faction, the Free Star Collective, was formally organized in 2188, later followed by House Moon, revealing themselves to the universe in 2230. The result of the Centaurus proclamation has always left me torn. So much conflict arose as a result. Was it worth it? No. Beginning in 2240, House Varun forces declared all-out war on the rest of human civilization, initiating the Serpent's Crusade. The bloody hell's that? Over the next 23 years, thousands of Freestar, you see, and independent souls were killed by agents of House Varun in the name of their serpent god. Jesus. It was only with the death of their founder in 2263 and the succession of his heir, Jarek, that House Varun finally sued for peace. There remain 
Republicans, however, select members of House Varun who refuse to recognize the cessation of hostilities their leaders established. Even after oh. House Varun's mysterious okay. disappearance, these zealots remain a threat to all who encounter them. Their pacification, a goal of all space. Jesus. Okay, we need to worry about them then. Of the many conflicts between the galaxy's factions, none was more brutal than the recent colony war between the UC and the Freestar Collective. Set off by the unauthorized Freestar colonization of Vesta's Pride in 2308, a direct violation of the Nerion Treaty, the colony war spread quickly across the galaxy. Both sides deployed every tool at their disposal. Armadas of warships, mechanized combat platforms, or mechs. Even bio-engineered alien creatures. The infamous UC Xeno weapons. Christ. Yeah. It was a place to at the Battle of Cheyenne and the scales finally tipped. The Free Star Collective, utilizing their civilian fleet as a human shield, successfully crippled the superior United Colonies Navy. After their shocking victory against the galaxy's greatest navy, the Free Star Collective offered terms of peace, which the colonies, out of an interest in staving off any further human costs, accepted. The galaxy has been rebuilding ever since. The colony war was a horrible conflict that irreparably ruined the settled systems. <sighs> there were times I felt that it would never end. Few <laughs> settled worlds were left untouched by the colony war. But nowhere could the viciousness of modern warfare be seen more clearly than on the free star planet of Nera. Initially occupied by invading United Colonies forces as a forward operating position, repeated attempts to take and retake the planet by collective forces led only to devastation. Yeah, I can see that one. Swaths of the world were transformed into scorched husks, a nightmarish testament to the depths of human ingenuity and human cruelty. And today, Nera remains a continuing reminder to the horrors of unfettered war. Jesus. Terror of Londinium. Oh god, what is... So we've got a mech here. Okay. What the hell is I really that? I this is just a phase. In the midst really of the colony war, a different kind of tragedy struck the UC city of Londinium. A newly constructed but critical supply center for the United Colonies war effort, Londinian found itself overrun by one of the galaxy's most mysterious predators, the Terramorph. A rare but pervasive threat to all human settled worlds, Terramorphs what the hell? swept over the city seemingly out of nowhere on a scale never before seen in recorded history. Valiant efforts by the UC military slowed the onslaught, but the creatures proved unstoppable. What? Ultimately, the decision was made to destroy the Londinian spaceport, sealing off the city, the outbreak, and its citizenry from the galaxy at large. The tragedy of Londinian is mourned by the UC to this day. Jesus. Oh god, so the Terramorpha, this is this version's version of, of is this of the flipping... control people's minds. But that can't be true. This thing's like an artist's rendition, right? No animal can be this ugly in real life. So if you guys have ever played Fallout 4, you know about the um oh what is it called? There's this monster in it. I can't remember its name off the top of my head. But they're like a big bad creature in Fallout. A real terramorph. Right, okay. Devastation wrought by the colony war. This is also interesting now. I'm actually the interested in this. Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known as the Armistice. 
Both sides agreed to a vast reduction in standing forces, and that Xeno weapons and mech warfare would be outlawed. All related research was sealed away. Accessible only in cases of dire emergency. But the Collective had another demand. That the active commanders of the UC military stand trial for their actions. The United Colonies, in the interest of peace and galactic security, agreed. In 2311, three Damn. United Colony senior officers were found guilty. Oh, that's a betrayal, though. Henry Durant, General Indira Rastogi, and Fleet Admiral Francois Senon, known better as Ve Victus. All were sentenced to death for their actions, bringing the colony war to a close and returning peace to the galaxy at long last. Oh, that's horrible. That's terrible. I disagree. The only thing they should have banned is the Xeno weapons. Max is Max, isn't it? Now what? To this new world that the Vanguard was born. An official branch of the UC Navy, the Vanguard is the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet, serving a myriad of security, logistical, and reconnaissance roles. And after a sufficient length of service, UC citizenship is guaranteed to every Vanguard member. Fair enough. To all captains, regardless of origin, the Vanguard is leading the charge to protect and support the citizens of the United Colonies, wherever in the galaxy they may be. That's pretty cool. Taking Rome's idea of uh, auxiliaries. No one is born a United Colony citizen. Only through service to the UC can one hope to earn one citizenship. But what? But the UC prides itself on taking care of its people. Cost of so living controls. You can't be born? Than their foreign counterparts for needs big and small. All citizens are issued a grant upon joining to get themselves on their feet. And only UC citizens have the opportunity to purchase property. Getting the chance to live in one of the most beautiful cities in the settled systems. By joining the <laughs> Vanguard today, you too can begin earning your place here, in the heart of galactic civilization, as a citizen of the United Colonies. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. No one's born a UC citizen. You have to earn it. So you could be born to UC citizens and still have to join this vanguard. <laughs> oh, that's nonsense, that. Welcome, applicants, to the piloting simulation chamber. Please enter I've spent a fair bit of time in simulators just like these. They're startlingly realistic. Have fun. I'll be fine. We'll be fine, right, guys? <laughs> this is the Mark 18 flight simulation chamber applicant. Currently in orbit around a high detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant. New target's active.
Where is this guy? Oh, annihilate him. Getting better at steering. Okay, where are they going to be? New targets active. Okay, all well. Progress recorded. Tier 3 reached. Congratulations, applicant. You've defeated sufficient opponents to pass the exam. You may now exit the simulator through the hatch to record your current score. Or stay and try your hand at the remaining tiers. We're gonna stay, why not? How many tiers are there? Is it infinite tiers? Or is it gonna be here forever? That was good. I'm getting I'm getting island here. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Tier four ship is is, is terrifying. Oh my god, that was lucky. That was very lucky. I still don't know how we even exit this. Like, I don't actually know. I'm gonna quick save. New targets active. Bitch, what? Oh my god, I rammed the asteroid. What? Jeez, well we died. <laughs> we got to tier four, I'll take that. We leveled up, I'll take it. 
four of six. No. Your current passing score will be called, but all. Wait, what? Wait, 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 you can just get back in and continue from round four. Really? Eh? Hold on a second, let's just. I just want to check, check this out. I, well, I want to. Oh, right, so you could just keep going at this forever. Nothing seems to be happening. I'm confused. Why did... What? Restart the current tier. Oh, so you can restart the current tier like that. Please return. Right, I'm going to give it one more go. Otherwise, this is something I'd have to do in my own time. <laughs> if there's any time to even come back and try this again. I imagine there is. Simulation reset. Prepare for your first opponent. What do you mean? <gasps> How do you win this? I'm getting hammered. I can't even move. What? Ah, ah, ah. You have passed, applicant. You may proceed to the exit hatch to log your results. Or restart the exam from the simulation's control terminal. I give up. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do differently there. I don't know. Christ, that was ridiculously hard. I got I got slaughtered. Yep, excellent. I'm good. I don't I don't need to prove myself there. That was horrendous. Jeez. Congratulations, Apple. You've passed. You can head up to Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Or you're welcome. Would you take another run at the simulation? Nope. I'm good. Give my assignment. <laughs> your simulation's terrifying. Don't mind me guys, I was just checking on how much we have, right. Anyway. Hey guys, we're back, right. Right, right, right. We need to go to someone's office. Well, look who's back. Everything go all right with the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed answered first? No, 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 no. Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? I'll let the techs know uh, you think so uh, highly of their work and make a note you've got prior combat experience. So, looking at the data, checked out a few of the murals. Good. A test of preparation and thoroughness. Two traits the Vanguard values highly. Your physiological results are eerily calm. Not a vital spike to be seen. You really know how to keep your cool. Exactly what the Navy's looking for in our recruits. Of course it is. I'm a now, soldier. How'd you do against your foes? Tier 4. Not too shabby. The techs make us test each level of the sim too. I can tell you that way were some real artificial bastards. Good job putting them away. Hell of a job. I might even let you fly me around sometime. So With that British accent? Your results yes. Whole, <laughs> presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission. You could have your UC citizenship after only just five years. We've been hounding for some recruits with experience. 
Says here I can even offer you a bonus along with your signing advance. Citizenship in five years? That's quite impressive. Took me almost nine, thanks to some false starts. You should be proud. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. Of course you do. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. Of course. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? It's a big decision. John, you're not about to have my compatriot here sign some kind of contract that sells you their grandmother five years down the line, are you? Officer's honor, Sarah. This is honest work for honest credits. So, you ready to do the deed? Yeah, sure, why not? Fantastic. Then just follow me. I want to get out of this suit, but at the same time, I don't know how to get out of the suit. Because the only way... Alright, there we go. Now we're a normal person. No jetpack. Oh, it's night time. Took our time in there, didn't we? We're not going far. This is our character with the freshest trim in this side of the galaxy. So sharp it can cut a star. <laughs> we're going towards the end of the episode here. Once we make this off, that'll be it. right doing this where we couldn't see the stars now raise your right hand the motto of the vanguard is supra et ultra above and beyond that is where we serve beyond the furthest reaches of the united colonies military and with honor and duty above reproach do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the united colonies to the best of your abilities and to uphold the values of the vanguard Honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy. Yeah. And let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is comms repair. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plant on Tau City 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come, so Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau Seti 2 count on you? Yes, they can. That's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Give How many credits do we get? There. Supra et Ultra. 6k, brah. We leveled up as well. Uh, we probably want to put it into, what do we want to put it into? Science, don't care about yet. Tech. Physical. Fitness, boxing, stealth, weightlifting. Oh yeah, increase weight. Oh man. Head down to the spaceport. Right. Got so wound up bringing you on board, I almost forgot. No, oh, I haven't. Come oh, on, God. on, let's hear it before you try to convince him to join the Marines. All right, here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Okay. Helps patrol the old neighborhood, 
Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? <laughs> he's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Anything right. for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. No, oh, brother. Good luck out there, Vanguard. Oh, damn. Right. So we've got options then. We'll probably do the Vanguard mission in the next episode and not the Constellation one because I think that just makes sense. You know? You know, you know? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we finally got our suit off, so there he is. We're probably going to put it back on since we're going to go into space now. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification. Give it to everything here on Sense of Blaze. Check links in the description for TikTok, Instagram, and of course, Twitter. <laughs> Don't forget, you can support me by checking out Simpsons Vlogs, SimpsonsBlaze.com, and of course, my Twitch, Simpsons Call Plays 13, where you catch me live. Drop a follow over there, see when I'm streaming and what I'm streaming. And of course, don't forget, you can subscribe, support my financial streamer if you wish to. And don't forget, check out some vlogs in the description, my vlogging channel, for that Apple unboxing. But until next time, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. Peace.